So we've made it. Here we are checking into the lodge at the Stanley Hotel. And we are staying in spirited room 1302. Lodge guests only. So here is the interior of the lodge here at the Stanley Hotel. Registered hotel guest only. Well, that is us. So here we go. Beautiful chandelier. And look at all of these mirrors hanging in the stairwell. Maybe we'll see a phantom face appear during our stay. I will say that the vibes in this place is incredible. You can feel the history here. Very glamorous, a beautiful hotel. But here we are, this is one of the most famous hotels in the United States, the Stanley Hotel. I think we're up one more floor, right? There's no more stairs though. <laughs> oh, maybe we do have to take an elevator. Yeah. So we're in, we're in room 1302. All of these rooms are 1200 rooms. There's like a little sitting area. Oh, right here. Oh, oh wow. So here's another stairwell here. So this is my first time walking in. I haven't I've never been, in this been in, into this building before. I haven't been to the lodge. I have not even opened up the door to see what our room looks like. I like the rocking chairs. Oh, that is awesome. Dude, the rocking chairs. If one of these things starts rocking by themselves tonight, that... Oh, that's just like straight out of a horror movie. So here we go. 1301 and 1302 this way. Oh, we're only one of two rooms on this side of the hallway. The rest of them are over here. There's another seating area here. And a lot of strange paintings of plants. A torso, like a mannequin torso. And by the elevator, I think these are like onions. Or I guess they're flowers. For some reason, I keep thinking of like green onions every time I see that, but they've got flowers on top. But here we go. Man, this is kind of creepy. The lights are all out. Oh, dude, 1302, right? Okay. <laughs> Wrong group. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is the spirited room here at the Stanley Hotel Lodge 1302. First check in, first step in. And there is our bed. And uh, there's a really cool little alcove here with a seated area as well. TV and a really creepy old antique mirror. Okay, that is wild. That is wild. And there's a desk here where you can write like Stephen King. You can get your, your laptop out. Not a typewriter. I don't have a typewriter, but I can get my laptop out and look out the window and I'm getting a lot of glare. But right there is the actual Stanley Hotel. This is the lodge, but the lodge has been here just about as long as the Stanley Hotel. The, again, the Stanley Hotel was built in 1909. This has been here just about as long. Um, so it's not the original hotel, but it is right next door on the property. And there are a lot of ghost stories and paranormal activity that happens here as well. So here's me in the creepy antique mirror. And here we are. This is room 1302. And there's some old photos of the Wild West and our cool little poem about Colorado. There is a place where the gold of heaven just drips when sunsets glow. And they also have some arrowheads in this room as well. So wanted to get this, this footage, this shot of us first checking in to this room, 1302. I just love this seating area. This is so cool. I can't wait to chill out on that tonight. But yeah, this is our first time setting our eyes on the supposedly haunted room 1302 here at the Stanley Hotel Lodge. And now I will say it's a cozy room so far. I'm not getting you getting any creepy vibes, Connor. Oh, no, I think it's great in here. Yeah, it feels really comfortable. <laughs> I mean, the view, you can't beat this view right here of the Rocky Mountains. That's Rocky Mountain National Park right out our window. And uh, I am so excited to get checked in, get our luggage inside, start exploring the grounds and grabbing a drink later tonight too at 
the bar at the main Stanley Hotel. All right, Connor. Well, let's go get our stuff in. Oh, I didn't show the bathroom off. We didn't do, I gotta do the bathroom. I gotta do this properly. Look at this, we have two sinks. And these are really, look at this, dude. This is like, I don't know what kind of material that is. It's got like a copper look to it. But the faucets seem to be running smooth and working. Look at this, they've got a cool Stanley Hotel, like an, an old tiny poster. And let's hopefully there's no turds left floating in the toilet. Okay, great. No surprises, that's good. Thank you, Stanley Hotel. And look at this bathtub. It looks a lot more modern, it's beautiful. More mirrors. Oh, this is great. So a very luxurious, nice bathroom at the Stanley Hotel. So anyway, we're gonna go bring our stuff up and get checked in. So this is Spirited Room 1302 here at the Stanley Hotel. And actually, before I leave, they did give me a uh, sheet of paper here with some ghost stories of this room. So let me read these out loud to you and we'll see if something happens. So room 1302, a male ghost has been seen as a shadow in this room, walking near the walls, because that's what shadows do. Uh, photos have been known to fly off the walls. So maybe these will fly off the walls today or tonight, I don't know. And Grant from Ghost Hunters had a table levitate while changing film. Why does this always happen when people change film? But anyway, if it's a table, it could have been this table, maybe it levitated, I don't know. But uh, the um, front deskman said that there is also a ghost dog that is known to haunt the lodge. So maybe we'll see a ghost dog. Maybe we'll see the shadow figure. Connor, what do you think? Where is the ghost dog? Is it supposed to be in this room or the whole lodge? He just said there's a ghost dog in the lodge, so I have no idea. But anyway, we're like. going to start bringing our luggage up. If anything happens, you'll see it here. I'm not going to hopefully miss anything, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get the ghost dog. Maybe we'll get a shadow figure. Are you excited for this, Connor? Oh, yeah. Been waiting a long time for this. We are this. pumped. We have always wanted to stay <laughs> here at the Stanley. So anyway, stay tuned. So we were just about ready to leave, and I thought I had a runny nose just now, and it turns out... And I've got a bit of a graphic warning, a bit of a bloody nose right here. I, my nose is bleeding slightly, not terrible, but it is kind of weird when you think of the Stanley Hotel, the movie, The Shining, red rum. Well, I've just, I've got some red rum now here in the room, room 1302. So yeah, I think, you know, could be the dry mountain air. I don't know, but just had a bit of a bloody nose, something that I don't get very often here in room 1302. Coincidence? I don't know. Hold up, Connor, what did you just say? I swear, just put my hoodie on. Felt like a little cold pocket here is walking. Dude, are you sure it's not just the open window? Weird chill. No, it's window? You mean it? So I, all, I went all static, like all electrical. Are you serious? Yeah, no, that was interesting. Dude, this is, okay, I don't feel anything. Let it sit for a little bit, but now I don't feel it. Interesting, all right. Things are starting to maybe wake up here yeah. in the Stanley Hotel. All right, I've never, and you're usually kind of skeptical, so I've never seen you yeah, no, riled up like this good. very often. It's right where you had the table, though. Yeah. Well, so one of the things on that paper said that Ghost Hunters, that TV show or whatever, I'm, I, I'm more of a Ghost Adventures fan. I never really got into Ghost Hunters. But they claimed that they saw a table levitate in this room. And yes, that is a axe, plastic axe prop that I got at a horror shop in Littleton, Colorado. You know, going with the Shining theme, Jack Nicholson, going insane, trying to axe his family. But really, dude, you look a little shaken up. Oh, that was weird. I will say that was weird. Huh. So you're sure it wasn't because the window was open? I don't think so. Interesting. Dude, that's interesting. All right, so things are starting to maybe wake up here in room 1302. I just had a bit of a bloody nose, and then I was in the bathroom kind of stopping the bleeding and threw away some tissues, and then, Connor, you got a little got a little energy here, a little riled up. Yeah, things might be happening here. <laughs> interesting, all right. So we've, uh, we've stayed at a lot of other haunted hotels or supposedly haunted places in the United States. So far, we've never ever had anything happen in a hotel. Uh, so if something does happen here, this will go down as the most haunted hotel that we've stayed at. But so far, you know, we'll see what happens. But the sun is setting, so we're going to go to the main building, sign up for a night tour, 
here at the Stanley Hotel and grab some food. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. But maybe after the sun goes down, things might start to wake up here. I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, just look at this view, walking out the front door. And there is the infamous original Stanley Hotel right here. Again, this is the lodge next door, opened up in 1910. That is the original Stanley Hotel right there, opened up in 1909. Both about the same time period and both equally as haunted from what I've heard. And I love these lion statues too, walking to the front door of the lodge. I mean, come on, straight out of a horror movie. So looking at the front of the lodge, our room is way up there at the top. That room 1302, that is the windows peering out of our room, this red portion, the third floor. So we've got a room with a view tucked away in this old historic hotel lodge next to the main Stanley Hotel. Not sure what's going on, but this woman's dressed up like Jack Nicholson. Or no, he's dre she's dressed up like like his character's wife. Who's the who is his wife in the movie? No, I, don't I can't remember either. Anyway, She's got the axe and everything here at the Stanley Hotel. She's dressed up in character. All right, so we just grabbed some dinner at Ed's Cantina, a phenomenal place in downtown Estes Park. And we're back at the Stanley Hotel. Right here is the sign. It's official, built in 1909, and we are about to do the nightly ghost tour here at the infamous Stanley Hotel. Now I've done the day tours before, and there's commercialized music in there, so I'm gonna say this real quick. I've done the day tour before, it's amazing, but it's more of a historical tour, but I've never done the night tour. And I think the night tour, they get more into the ghost stories, the lore here at the Stanley. So we are gonna be doing our first night tour here at the Stanley Hotel. Look at this, a model of the Stanley Hotel here. In the, in the lower level, the main Stanley Hotel. And this is where you sign up for the Stanley Hotel tours. They have a desk here and they give day tours and nightly ghost tours as well. So we are about to embark on the night tour. And um, what's great is right before you get on the tour, we've got about 10 minutes to spend. They've got all of these historic photos of the Stanley Hotel. And you can see there's celebrities and royalty that have stayed here. They've got a little snippet of Stephen King. Of course, he stayed here back in the 1970s and this hotel inspired him to write The Shining. So a lot of people think the movie was actually filmed here. The movie was not filmed at this destination. It was mainly filmed on a soundstage in England and the exterior shots were a different hotel in Oregon. But this is the actual hotel that Stephen King stayed at and inspired him to write the novel The Shining. And of course, we're talking movies that weren't filmed here. The Shining, one movie that was filmed here was Dumb and Dumber. So look at that. Scenes in Dumb and Dumber, the famous orange and blue suits in the movie worn by Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. And that is that scene there was filmed in the bar upstairs here at the Stanley Hotel, which I will take you to after this night tour. But just incredible to see all of the history and pop culture that they have right outside the tour meeting place. Now here is, this is amazing to me, this is room 217. Room 217 was originally a suite of four rooms, pictured here as one of the rooms from the suite early in the hotel's history. And it says, note the wallpaper, furniture, and decorations from the 20th century. Now, why is room 217 significant? It's significant because this is the room that Stephen King stayed in back in the 1970s. And he, he had such a unique stay here at the hotel that this is the room that his personal experience 
inspired him to write the famous horror novel, The Shining. And here's pieces of room 217, which is interesting. So this is amazing. In 1911, there was an explosion here at the Stanley Hotel that caused uh, five employees were injured. No, nobody was fatally injured. But it says that due to a thunderstorm that caused the power to fail on June 25th, 1911, head chambermaid Miss Elizabeth Wilson attempted to light the backup gas lamp in room 217. As she approached the room with her candle, a huge explosion occurred in acetylene gas leak from a light fixture caused the explosion that destroyed 10% of the hotel. And these are pieces of that original room, 217. And here is a picture of Freeland Oscar Stanley, the founder of the Stanley Hotel. And this was taken, taken on the front porch of his Stanley cottage in 1940. Also gotta love the typewriter, a little nod to horror writer Stephen King. Look at this, they got photos of the Stanley Kubrick movie. The Notorious Twins, Jack Nicholson going insane, and yeah, again, the movie wasn't filmed here. It's so cool to see the, the memorabilia and the nod to that. So this is the concert hall on the Stanley Hotel premises. Beautiful architecture. So this concert hall here also opened in 1909, same year as the actual original Stanley Hotel. And this is a rare Tiffany chandelier up there on the ceiling as well. So just gorgeous. Love the little stage. We are moving on. And uh, yeah, if anything happens, you'll see it here. We are headed down to the basement. Maybe I can edit this later, but right now we are in the green room. And this is supposed to be one of the more active areas on the Stanley Hotel campus. We're actually right underneath the stage. And uh, there's a ghost named Paul, an old uh, groundskeeper that apparently died of a heart attack on the stairwell right outside the window in here. But uh, yeah, it's very dark. Uh, maybe I can edit this and get the light in there earlier, but that's supposed to be one of the more paranormal rooms here in the Stanley, well, on the Stanley Hotel campus. All right, well, here is part of the underground tunnel system that leads from the concert hall to the main Stanley Hotel. And it's not really a good way to get through there. A lot of PVC pipe, water pipes. And just to kind of give you an idea, this is what the tunnel looks like. That goes pretty, pretty far back. Now Jim and I were just talking about this, the tunnels connect the So we're still in the basement of the concert hall. That was another guest dressing room where they, apparently a squatter back in the 80s that used to stay down here uh, was found frozen to death. Um, so her ghost apparently, they've caught it on camera and pictures and supposedly this, this spirit roams the basement of the concert hall. So some, some crazy pictures that we, the tour guide showed us. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll catch something, maybe I won't. But uh, some very intriguing, I'm not going to call it evidence, but just intriguing photos that we've seen of just, uh, that last one was really weird. Hard to explain. They both were kind of crazy. Some like ghoulish looking girl, kind of like straight out of the movie The Ring, where you, your face is all weird, but they caught them in the background of photos here in this basement. Play with us. <laughs> Play with us. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Johnny. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Oh my god. Red rum. Red rum. <laughs> this tree is the oldest surviving tree here at the Stanley Hotel, 113 years old. Right next to the main building. So here we go. We are entering the main Stanley Hotel through the side door. And I think this is the billiards room. It's all set up like a seance. Look at that red chair. It's very devilish looking. And yeah, this is kind of crazy. I feel like I'm walking into some kind of strange fraternal order. 
here in the Stanley Hotel. So right here in the billiards room, this is the original bar that Stephen King himself drank with Mr. Grady on back in 1974 when he actually stayed at this hotel. So this is the actual bar that Stephen King drank on here at the Stanley Hotel. $170 a piece, not terrible. That is amazing. So this is actually a hidden whiskey. What do you call this? A bar? Yeah, just a little whiskey, hidden whiskey bar. Like a little hidden whiskey bar. We got another one over there. It's disguised as a uh, globe. Oh, I need one of those. Kind of almost looks like a Weber <laughs> grill, but yeah, that's a hidden whiskey bar. These globes that are that are situated throughout the hotel, right? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So just walking out of the billiard room, this is the main lobby of the Stanley Hotel. Look at this elevator, this old elevator. Now, if you are a fan of The Shining, I just, I can only imagine the door opening up in blood, just pouring out like in the movie. Oh, jeez, this place is the real deal. And there's also an old motor car here as well. So now we are entering the underground tunnels of the main Stanley Hotel. And I feel like I'm entering like a mine shaft. This really is something else. Oh man, this is straight out of a horror movie. There's even like a cave right here. So everybody's fine with that, right? Nobody's freaking out or anything. There's an old oh, carriage down here as well. <laughs> now the lights just went out. So apparently in the tunnels here, there was a chef back in the 1940s who was crushed to death by a, one of the rocks that got broke loose, slid onto him, and crushed him here in the tunnels below the Stanley Hotel. So that is one recorded death they do have here on campus. So there's been a lot of really creepy pictures of like, I can't even explain, like weird looking, gullum looking, spirit things like right here behind this carriage so this seems to be a very active place in the tunnels here below the Stanley Hotel um, yeah the tour guide was showing these photos off and they were pretty creepy a lot of them were taken right here in front of this wooden post uh, particularly of that squatter spirit named Lucy who just pictures were creepy as hell and then there was also like a weird golem, like, you know, Lord of the Rings, like some creature that was like golem taken over here too. So who really knows? Yeah, it's crazy stuff here in the tunnels below the Stanley Hotel. Well, that was the night tour here at the Stanley Hotel. I would have loved to record more of it, but um, they don't like to be filmed, the tour guides don't want to be seen on camera, so doing the best I could to kind of film the in-between the speeches and, and get as much as I could squeezed in to show you what the tour was like. But an, an incredible tour, highly recommend it. And I've done the day tour as well, but I actually do like the night tour better because it's a haunted hotel after all, and it just seems like the atmosphere is a little more creepy at night. So again, highly recommend do the night tour here at the Stanley Hotel. They have this mysterious aquarium with no fish here on the lower level of the main Stanley Hotel. And right here, this desk is where you can sign up for the day and night tours of the hotel and the campus here. All right, we are heading back to our spirited room in the lodge here on the Stanley Hotel campus. During the tour, they called this spot, the lodge, the mini Stanley Hotel because it's actually like a miniaturized version of the real Stanley Hotel. Scale. Yeah, he said it was a one-third scale and looking at it, it totally does. So we are staying in the mini Stanley. Right there is our room, that dark window at the top and there's the real the OG, the original Stanley Hotel, right there. Again, the original one was opened up in 1909. This one was opened up in 1910 and served as a bachelor pad where bachelors stayed, which is totally fitting because me and you are bachelors 
And our sister's getting married this weekend, so it actually works out perfectly. So maybe the spirits will come out and hang with us, the spirits of bachelors here at the lodge. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go back and see if anything has changed in our hotel room. See if things have been moved around. So we're gonna take the stairs back up to room 1302. These windows are open now, which actually feels really nice because it's cool mountain air outside. The temperature dropped from like 75 degrees earlier to definitely in the 50s now. But uh, here we go, we're going up the steps here inside the lodge. I wanted to point out earlier, I love these lamps where the pedestals are old water pumps. Isn't that cool? And they've got these all over the lodge. I thought it would be so cool. What if you could turn the lamp on by pumping it up and down that would like turn the light, the lamp on and off, but no, they've got They've got just normal switches. That would have been awesome if you could do that. All right, we're gonna head back upstairs. And see if our stuff has been moved around by the spirits. Here's those creepy rocking chairs. And actually, to be honest, I, I've never been on the other side of this floor. There's a, another old mirror. Oh, wow. So this floor is a lot, has a lot more rooms than I thought. Dude, there's like a whole hallway that stretches down. Yeah, I, I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah. So there's a big hallway on the third floor behind me. I don't, what, I don't even know what direction that is. South, east, so east, but we are here in this dark corridor, if you can call it that, like literally, this is our room. room? One of two rooms in here. There's like a creepy old closet. Oh, okay, it's just a HVAC system. But um, yeah, here's our room, one of two rooms, 1301 and 1302, the spirited room. The end of this dark corridor. And here we are in the rooms of dark. Anybody mess with our stuff? Still got the axe, which I wish we brought on the tour now, but we didn't. And uh, everything looks to be where we left it. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. It's pretty hot in here, though. It's toasty. I say open that window. Get some, some of that cool, crisp mountain air flowing into the spirited room here good job so yeah we are gonna actually um, get ready to go to the famous bar at the Stanley Hotel where they filmed Dumb and Dumber and uh, it's the Stanley Hotel like maybe there's a creepy old ghost bartender that will get us drunk tonight and turn us into murderous maniacs like in the movie The Shining <laughs> we'll find out it, it could happen you never know <laughs> now I will say I think so far this mirror is the creepiest thing in this room this old antique looking mirror that swivels I mean it looks like something from a horror movie Bloody Mary Bloody Mary Bloody Mary Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. You're supposed to do it with the lights out. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Be Don't do it. Okay, I won't. I won't. Good. I don't want the mayor of Chicago showing up. And what's cool, too, is out the window here, you can see the original Stanley Hotel. And they are currently renovating the upstairs rooms. You can see that chair is upside down. It's not because of the paranormal. That is because the main hotel is being renovated. And that's the main reason we are staying 
in the lodge or the mini Stanley is what they call it. So we got the one spirited haunted room in the lodge. And that was the floor creaking, that wasn't me. I, I didn't fart. <laughs> you know, I say we go check out that bar, the famous one at the main Stanley Hotel. They have a bar? Oh. Yeah. Go on, Cinderella. You gotta get ready for the bar. That's right. Okay, let's do this. Legendary. Well, here we are at the Stanley Hotel Bar. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Harry. Cheers, Lloyd. Oh, this is fantastic. An old fashioned with Breckenridge whiskey. This is one of the best whiskey bars in the state of Colorado. So you've got to come here to the Stanley Hotel. And Mr. Grady may or may not be bartending. That's our secret. Here we are at the famous bar at the Stanley Hotel. This is the same hotel that inspired Stephen King. And keeping my eyes peeled for Mr. Grady, the bartender from The Shining that previously murdered his family and was trying to persuade Jack Nicholson's character to murder his own family and that Jack Torrance was his character's name, to murder his son Danny and wife Wendy. So, so far, no. Mr. Grady, but keeping my eyes peeled, there, this guy looks a little suspicious. There is another bartender here, but either way, the spirits are incredible. So enjoying this old fashioned here at one of the greatest bars in the USA, the bar at the Stanley Hotel. Well, Harry, cheers to another good night here at the Stanley Hotel, the greatest hotel in the world. And this is an old fashioned. This is fantastic. How, how was yours, Harry? Fantastic. Boy. Fantastic. The best bar in Colorado here at the Stanley Hotel. And uh, last time I heard, uh, is Mr. Grady bartending? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Cheers to everyone. We don't see any spirits. At least they taste good.